data visualization is an integral part of the analytical pipeline, including many activities from data exploration to data curation and presentation. It often requires people with different areas of expertise, such as data analysts and data scientists working together. Collaboration among these highly specialized people is a key factor in success. With tools allowing them to work anytime and anywhere across their device ecologies. We present Vistrates, a collaborative platform that supports the full spectrum of data analysis activities, all levels of expertise, collaborative work, and many devices. We motivate Vistrates and its capabilities using a travel journalism scenario. This is Virgil. He is an experienced freelance travel writer. He has been commissioned by a new internet-based travel guide company called Travelover that is trying to disrupt the travel guide industry by providing customized travel plans for their clients. Travelover tasks Virgil with curating and preparing the dataset for Toronto. They send Virgil a link to the Travelover platform, which is built on top of a Vistrate installation giving him access to the company's data analysis environment. After familiarizing himself, he realizes that he should only write about downtown Toronto. From within the Vistrate, he calls Daria, a data analyst working at Trailover, and suggests to her to add an up-and-coming region within Toronto. She agrees and asks him to select it on the map, which gets immediately synchronized in her Vistrate. Virgil asks if it is possible to filter businesses on the map by their review ratings. Daria says it's no problem and installs a bar chart, count aggregator, filter, and join component to visualize business reviews for Toronto. She then loads the review ratings into the document and creates components. Aggregate review ratings, a bar chart to visualize them, a component to filter businesses by reviews, and a component to join the review data with the business data. Next, she adds a section and adds a component canvas to it. On the component canvas, she then adds the bar chart and the map. In the pipeline view, she connects the review data to the count reviews component and its output to the bar chart component, which renders the aggregated reviews in the bar chart on the canvas. She then uses the bar chart as input for the filter component, joins the filtered reviews with the business data, and reconnects the map to the filtered and joined data. The bar chart functions as a filter for the businesses rendered on the map. Because Vistrates is a web-based service, Virgil can immediately use this filter himself. Inspired by this, Virgil creates a pie chart that further filters for open businesses. He also connects GPS data provided by the JavaScript Geolocation API to the map. When the GPS is on the map, it renders the device's current geographic location. Then he installs the component list view, creates an instance of it, and full screens the list view component. He then pulls out his phone and opens the Vistrate, where he selects the map from the list to make it full screen. The transition to his mobile phone allows him to use the map as a navigation system to find his way to the restaurants that he wants to review. After having lunch at the Soft Rock Cafe, he pulls out his tablet and connects to the same Vistrate. He writes his restaurant review on his tablet using the rich text editing tools in Vistrates. While writing the restaurant review, he realizes that the single map view would be much more useful if it also incorporated relevant review keywords. So he adds an empty canvas to sketch his idea of a word map. Then he calls up Daria to explain his idea to her. Unfortunately, the map component that Trailover has developed doesn't support tags, but she is able to quickly add a simple word cloud component to Virgil's Vistrate as a stopgap measure. In the pipeline, she connects the frequency analyzer to the heavy end node, which offloads computation to more powerful devices, either connected to the same Vistrate or to an instance running in the cloud. 
Last, she connects its output to the word cloud component to render the results in the Vistry. She hangs up and then walks over to Sam, one of the developers in the trial of her office. They discuss the word map using a large display in the conference room. Sam gets the idea, so he copies Virgil's Vistrate, loads a TF IDF package, creates an empty Vistrate component named WordMap, and starts developing the new component inside of his copy. After finishing and testing the new WordMap, he pushes it as a new component to Trialover's Vistrate package repository. Then, in a conference call with Daria and Virgil, Sam opens Virgil's Vistrate, installs the new WordMap, creates components to query and filter businesses by GPS components, a TF-IDF analyzer and accessor component to analyze reviews, and finally, the new word map component. Next, he reconfigures the pipeline to render businesses filtered by reviews and their corresponding word clouds on the map. A month later, after lots of hard work by Virgil and his trial of her team, Daria installs the presentation package. She adds a title slide to her presentation. And converts existing parts of the Vistrate document into slides, keeping all Vistrate components interactive. She uses the slides to present the finished Toronto project to the board. Because her presentation is based on the same Vistrate that she created a few weeks ago with Virgil and Sam, she can demonstrate and interact with each feature, dataset, and visualization in this final product. With Vistrates, we demonstrate a novel component model for data visualization, supporting diverse tasks and expertise, collaboration among different users, and use across heterogeneous devices.